I'm not quite sure though that we're ready to get into the databases yet. I think there's some more techniques that we can use. Can anyone remember about what phrase searching does? Uh, it searches for phrases instead of single words. Yeah, that's right. So what can happen is if we put, say, for instance, social networking sites into a database without the phrases, it will look for those as single words. And that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for that phrase. So we have to force, if you like, the database to do that. So we're going to go social networking sites like that around both words. And social media would be another one. What about social network networks? Yes. Would we put phrase around Facebook, Twitter? No, because they're single words. It's obsolete. I know some students do do that, but it's not necessary. So phrases keep two or more words together. Young adults. That's pretty good. Have I missed anything? No, I think we're OK. So we've looked at or, we've looked at phrase searching. We need to actually think about this word here, behaviour. So can you tell me what the issue is with behaviour, apart from it being good or bad behaviour? Uh, sp spelling varies. Uh, American spelling is different to English spelling. Yeah, so I wonder what we could do for that. We have this little tool, it's called a wild card. And often it's a question mark, or sometimes it can be like the hash. But you know what? Because the databases are so different, you really need to check the help screen for what the syntax is. Remember, they're the shortcuts. These are shortcuts. So what we would do is actually place that wild card where the change would occur. So it's there. So it's actually replacing zero or one character. So it equals something like this. If we were to do behaviour or behaviour like so, it actually gives you the same results as an OR search, which I think is really nifty, right? It's cutting down the typing. Remember, we're trying to be effective and efficient searchers, so we need to use all these tools to assist us to do that. Plus, we want to really know our topic area very well. So we want to be able to say we're expert searchers, and being an expert searchers, searcher means that we use this sort of search technique. I think there's something else we're missing here, and that is the idea of truncating words. Truncation. So there's a few words here that we could actually look at using a truncation symbol. And the truncation symbol is often the asterisk, but not always. So again, you'd need to look at the help screen for your individual databases. So where would I place the truncation tool to look for the root of the word? Is there some examples here that we could add a truncation to? Uh, it's when you're looking for the plural or singular of a word. Yes, so we've got values. So we will pick up uh, the plural and the singular. That's great. So again, saving us typing. I like it. What about looking for the root of a word like teen? So teen, we'll pick up teen, teens, teenager, teenagers. So we're building, if you like, our search before we even get into the databases here. It's pretty good. This is like a search builder. So often you'll go into the databases and this is what will appear for you. Columns and rows where you can start to create your search.